What's up guys, Anbuf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's video, we're talking about five new ways on how you can customize your Android device. Now, the last video that we did on this topic did really, really well. So I highly recommend all of you guys click the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and let's get started. All right, guys, so in today's video, we'll be talking about five different ways on how you can start customizing your Android device. In this video, we'll talk heavily about different kinds of launchers, different icon packs, different wallpaper applications, and widgets that you can use to experience a lot of new different things when it comes to Android customization. And I genuinely hope that you guys will like these recommendations. With that said, let's talk about the first way to customize your Android device that is using a third party launcher. Now, in case you guys don't know about launchers, launchers are basically home screen replacement applications that let you experience a different way of using your Android device. So every time you unlock your phone, if you're bored of the same stock UI, launchers are a very quick and easy way to revamp how your Android phone looks. With that said, a couple of launchers that I would recommend include Niagara launcher. Now, Niagara launcher launcher has this really really nice you know home screen and application window with this entirely cool animated wiggle bar that I would like to call with which you can basically cycle through applications that start from different letters. It has a lot of other cool features like searching applications and no nonsense UI along with the date and time on top and I genuinely think if you're looking for a no clutter experience Niagara launcher is the one you should get. Definitely check it out it will be linked below. With that said the second launcher that I would recommend that you use is known as ratio now in case you guys haven't heard ratio is a beautiful home screen replacement solution which is more than just a launcher if you want to know more about it we already did a dedicated video on using ratio as your main launcher card above check it out now with that said this is a launcher that lets you idealize productivity more than anything else for example, on the left hand side, you've got different places with the widget. It just does so much more than a traditional launcher would auto categorizes all your apps. There's a lot of built in cool features uh, like, you know, blocking applications as well as pinning different folders and all of that. It's really, really cool. Highly recommend it in case you guys want something different. And last but definitely not the least, we've got Nova launcher on which this setup is based on and my favorite launcher of all time. This is a launcher that I really, really love. And yeah, with these three launcher picks, I'm sure you guys will find out the launcher that you want, which suits your workflow. With that said, let's talk about the second way that you can customize your Android device. And that is by obviously changing the wallpaper. Now, wallpapers are a very important part of customizing your Android phone, especially because it is the core wallpaper that lets you decide what kind of icon pack or widgets would go with it. At least that's how I think. I don't know about you guys, but a couple of wallpaper apps that I really think are worth your time include but are not limited to AMOLED walls. This is a great wallpaper application on which you can find a lot of cool illustrations of different wallpapers which have a predominant black background that let you basically very nicely create different abstract home screen setups like the one that I have set up over here as you guys can see. You've also got something called Rad Walls which is a pretty new application. If you're a fan of Synthwave, Retrowave or basically cyberpunk colors and tones this is a great application to have a really, really cool and nice live wallpaper on your phone. Highly recommend this as well. It has a lot of nice live wallpapers. Most of them are free and I think you should definitely check it out. With that said, last but definitely not the least, we've got Wardrobe, which is an Unsplash client, meaning it sources all its photographs from unsplash.com. And well, what do I even say about this application? This is one of my favorite, favorite wallpaper apps of all time. Highly recommend it. You'll find wallpapers from a lot of different categories and you'll also find a lot of lifestyle photos here so you can customize your phone to your heart's content. With that said, those are the wallpapers. Once your wallpapers are done, what you would ideally want to do is have custom widgets like the one I have set on my home screen here. Now for this, we are using KWGT and KWGT Pro. You guys are already familiar with KWGT, but if you're not, I also did a guide on it explaining the intricacies of it and how you can use it easily. Again, card above, be sure to check it out. But with that said, the KWGT packs, free packs, you mind you, that I'm recommending is Miniism for KWGT. This has a lot of really, really cool widgets that have this super minimal, you know, look as the name suggests. And another one, which is also free, is Vanilla for KWGT. This is also a really, really cool KWGT pack that has a lot of free and really well polished widgets. Highly recommend all of them. 
The one that I am using on this setup, in case you guys fancy, this one is also from Miniism for KWGT. So be sure to check that out. Now with that said, once you've got your launches set up and the widget set up, as well as the correct wallpaper, last but not the least, what you definitely need is, you know, the icon pack. The icons that you will use on your home screen really are going to determine what the end result of your Android setup is going to look like. Now, in case you guys like the icon pack that I'm using, I would highly recommend using Dove Dark. This is the one that I am using. It has this black background background which really blends in with any black wallpaper and I really like the way it looks mainly because of its aesthetic as well as this material design goodness that there is in built in this app. There are more than 2500 icons so I would highly recommend it. Another option that you guys could go to if you're looking for a little more minimalism is Drops icon pack. Now Drops is a custom icon pack with which you can find these really really tiny almost water droplet like icons which is where it gets its name. It's super small, super tiny and super minimal definitely check it out links will be in the description below and with that said guys that is usually how you should organize and you know customize your Android device I mean that's at least how I would do it but I still have a bonus section the fifth section for you guys for a lot of you lazy boys out there who don't really want to do all of this just to get a good looking aesthetic smartphone well for you, my friend, I would highly recommend using KLWP. Now, KLWP is basically a live wallpaper solution that lets you set different home screens as your live wallpapers. That's right. These are fully functioning home screens. You do not have to do anything and they also completely work. For example, if I open on the WhatsApp icon, it opens up WhatsApp. If I hit on search, it opens up Google. And as you can see, it's also got this really cool, uh, you know, rotating moon as the live wallpaper. Now, this is not just all you're limited to. There are a lot of custom settings that you can go into simply by opening up the application. Now keep in mind to use most of the new themes and skins just like KWGT, you will need KLWP Pro for this. But honestly, I feel like with the amount of customization that you can get using just custom live wallpaper, it's absolutely crazy. There are, you know, packs that look really, really good. And for a one click job, I think this is absolutely great. I mean, look at this. Most of them are animated. They work really, really well. And I just really feel like it's a super clean way to customize your Android device without any hassle and also get a really, really good looking home screen if you don't want to do it. So a couple of recommendations would be Maximus, this one, uh, the Moon one and others that I will link in the description below. Most of these are free but you will need the Pro key so keep that in mind before you end up downloading it. With that said guys, here are five ways on how you can customize your Android device like a Pro in 2021. I genuinely hope you guys like this episode. If you do, please feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite application or if there is any other way you customize your Android and you'd like that to be showcased in our videos. With that said, once again, this is Anubhav signing out. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, yeah, peace out.